Since we've arrived here in India, we have had so many recommendations to go and check out different places, but the one place we have got recommended over and over and over again to visit is the state of Kerala. So today we are here in Kerala and we have come to probably the most popular place in the state, which is Munnar. Munnar is an amazing hilly area completely surrounded by lush green tea plantations that you can see literally all around us. And today we're gonna go and fully explore them by heading out on what might just be Munnar's best independent track. Oh my god, do you see the waterfall? That's so cool! <laughs> it's so it's massive! Oh. Holy ghost! Go Ashling, go! Give me a boogie! <laughs> Dance party! <laughs> it's slippy, be It's slippy. So the hike we're doing today is actually around an area in Munar called the Blackberry Hills. It's a 14k loop walk around the whole area. It's going to take us through loads of tea plantations that you can see completely surrounding us. It's going to take us through some wee local villages, past some waterfalls. And yeah, we're really, really excited. We're hoping it's going to be a great walk. We actually found this route and this kind of hiking trail on an app called All Trails that we use for a lot of our hikes. Um, and yeah, we can actually link it below as well if you're interested in doing this particular hike but it is really, 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 really well like rated. So yeah, we're hoping it's gonna be beautiful. So far, it is absolutely wicked, but the heat is starting to come out. It was a wee bit cloudy, a wee bit overcast, and a wee bit chilly whenever we started this morning, but it is getting much, much warmer now. And I would say as the day goes on, it's gonna get a lot hotter again. Also, these have been imported from China and Oh, okay, like a medicine also. This is a green tea. Green tea? All generally for after processing black tea. Yeah. So two, three steps. First wow. the grinding. Oh my god, so you get three different types of tea out of one leaf. Only over one leaf. So the Tata owns all these tea plantations? The tea plantations all belong to Tata. Wow. There is a village there uh, at uh, uh, one, uh, one and a half kilometers. There is a 2000. With the roof? Uh, yeah. Uh, Tea plantation labor is living there. Oh, okay, so uh, people who work in the uh, fields here well, live there. Yeah. This is a very big plantation. You see, it's a very big plantation. Yes, yes. Mm. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. N near a waterfall? Yes, yes, yeah, I see waterfall. So uh, not go to the... Close the waterfall. Yeah, no. dangerous. <laughs> dangerous, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is the name of the waterfall? Atukadu waterfall. Atuka. Atukadu. Atuka. Atukadu. Atuka. Atukadu. Okay. Atukadu. 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 Atukadu waterfall. Atukadu waterfall. It's very impressive looking, okay, very yeah, big, yeah. 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 Okay. Perfect, thank you so okay, much, sir. Thank you, it's been a pleasure. Have a great day, bye-bye. Oh, that was great. We were standing just looking at some of the tea plantations. It is honestly so beautiful here. And a guy came up to us and started telling us about the tea. He was saying this whole plantation area is owned by Tata. Tata are like a huge industrial company here in India and all over the world. Uh, massive for like steel and cars and loads of different things. Electronics, I think, as well. Um, but yeah, they own all these tea fields. And the man was telling us like out of one tea leaf, you get three different types of tea you get a white tea, which I'm not too sure what it is actually, out of this wee like, can't even show you, the wee tip bit in here. And then this bit is for a green tea. And then I think it all gets like blended together. Is that right maybe? To create a black tea. So we're learning already, but yeah, this is lovely. But yeah, what a nice guy. <laughs> all right we are getting very close to the waterfall area and now we have a big bridge to cross the water is getting pretty loud as well and i can't wait to get a proper good look at this waterfall up close because it just looks absolutely epic Woo, bridge time <laughs> get caught up in that that no. is savage and like we can't even see like the big mega part of the waterfall it's we've like seen it from like, around the corner yeah we've seen it from way back up here but from here you can only see like the smaller bits of the waterfall that are still absolutely terrifying and you could consider them smaller yeah beautiful but scary <laughs> Photo time even in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> You're so cute. 
Oh, watch the pivot behind you. Oh! They were so cute. These little kids just came running out of nowhere. They were waving, giving us high fives, and then of course they wanted a few photos. <laughs> and we've just spotted it right over here. There's a lovely wee tea shack right beside the waterfalls. <laughs> But we're not going to stop off at that tea shack because we're not that long after breakfast and we got what has turned into one of our favourite dishes since we have come to the south of India and that is a masala dosa and of course with a few coffees as well. We have brought a little bit of a packed lunch with us as well and I'm sure there's going to be plenty other tea shacks and tea houses along the way so we'll probably stop for a tea later on. Oh this is beautiful though. <laughs> Look at all that tea. Tea Anyone want some chai? Tea. Fields filled with it. Immunor. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. Great song, great song. <laughs> thought that was very good. Are you kids out walking their goats? Walk <laughs> Just taking my goat for a walk. <laughs> the ears are so flopping. Oh yeah. Hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Do you want photo with goats? <laughs> you do bad. Huh? You do bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Owen and Ashling, it's their names. One photo. Yeah. One photo. One photo. Single photo. Yeah. Okay, okay. Single photo. No, group photo. <laughs> photo. Wait, wait. Photo shoot. Nice. You nice. like? Nice. Huh? <laughs> huh? One Thanks. single photo. One single photo. One single photo, also. yeah. Okay. okay, you and your goat. Thanks. Okay, with the goat, yeah. Does the goat does the goat have a name? Friends. Friends, yeah. Group photo. Yeah, group photo, group okay, photo. okay. Nice tattoo. A nice tattoo. <laughs> you like giraffe. <laughs> oh, with everybody, with everybody, okay, okay. Smile. Hi. <laughs> Perfect. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> have a good day. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Have a nice day. Oh, that was lovely. <laughs> People here are so friendly. Them lads, I think, live over in this wee local village. The guy we were talking to earlier, or the guy who stopped us to tell us about the tea, was saying that the people that live in this village are all like labourers in the tea fields and all work here. So yeah, I think all their families work in the tea fields here. But yeah, proper lovely, like really pleasant, really well-mannered young lads. Just wanted a photo shoot. <laughs> Great. We've just walked past another couple of wee kind of like local houses. They're also colourful and really bright painted as well, which is lovely. But they had a full blown football pitch right in front of the houses. And it reminds me of the, the Mount Everest base camp track we done like two or maybe three months ago, something like that. And um, it was absolutely unbelievable. There was a couple of wee football pitches along the trail in some of the wee villages. And like they were literally in the middle of nowhere. And it's so good to see that literally no matter where you are, Kids can go out, have a game of football. Adults as well, I'm sure everybody joins in and plays. But yeah, it is just wicked to see. But the Everest Base Camp track was absolutely unbelievable. It honestly left us speechless. We will actually link the whole series up here if you want to check it out. Probably some of our favorite videos we've ever done. Definitely our favorite hike we have ever done. And just an unbelievable experience from start to finish. Putting my sun cream on, getting all sun cream done. <laughs> you don't want to burn the day? No, I do not. Get all that sun cream on. Do you like my sun cream song? Ashley's number one hit single. <laughs> Putting my sun, sun cream, cream on. on. <laughs> it was meant to be a private song. <laughs> Public night. You can sing along. <laughs> So the climate and the temperatures here in Minar are actually quite different than the rest of India that we have visited. I think Minar is something like 1,800 meters above sea level. I could be wrong, but um, I think it's something like that. Somebody, the guy in our hotel told us something like that yesterday, roughly it's around that height. And it does get a wee bit chillier. It's not as hot as a lot of other parts of India. Um, and yeah, it's, it's very, very different. Even like the whole environment, it is so, so unique compared to the other parts we have been. We arrived here yesterday morning, roughly, 
and it actually rained most of the day yesterday and the man in the hotel told us that it rains a lot in the evening times here at the minute that it is coming into that monsoon season and that from like one o'clock two o'clock anywhere like on from that it can rain pretty much the whole day so we have started this hike very early this morning we tried to get out for around seven but it was actually nearly eight o'clock by the time we started and um, so hopefully we will beat the rain we're hoping to be finished up before kind of one or two o'clock and hopefully we will have a nice and dry day Getting sweaty. Okay, we go left. 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 We've got another wee local village. Hello. Hi. Hi. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye, -bye. What bye, -bye. Oh, so cute. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Oh, that was so cute! <laughs> that was a full on like we crash, we like preschool in the middle of like the hills here. I was just full of kids and they're all so cute just waving bye bye. <laughs> a lot of the houses that we're walking past here in these wee villages are made like pretty much fully of like tin sheeting. So I would say there's not much kind of security, not much kind of strength in them. And I would imagine they get pretty cold during the monsoon season here as well. There is some stone houses, some like maybe brick houses I'm thinking they are, but the large majority of them do seem to be made, do seem to be made of tin sheeting. So yeah, not a lot of protection. But there is quite a lot of people around. <laughs> There's more wee villages, more wee houses than I expected, but it is very, very nice and people are super, super friendly here. Super smiley as well. They're all full of waves, hellos. Yeah, and it's a proper warm and welcoming feeling. Looks like we are going off track and right into the middle of the tea fields. According to the map anyway, it's telling us to leave the path that we're currently on and just walk through the tea fields. I'm happy with that. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Ooh, it is getting sweaty. The sun is out in full force, but Every now and again a nice big cloud comes over and covers it and you get a wee bit of shade for a while which is very very nice but the walk so far has been wicked we're completely off path now just going through the actual tea fields themselves through the plants and it is just beautiful really 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 nice and I think we're actually about halfway there through the whole walk so we're completely smashing it today haven't got a loss so far it's always a good start we're on track and yeah it is just beautiful, but I think we might stop soon, have a wee break. I've got a wee bit of lunch with us, a few wee drinks and stuff, and chill out and just take in the surroundings for a while. We have just found a beautiful big rock with this gorgeous view, so we have decided it's time to stop off and have a little bit of a picnic. Owen's getting stuck into the buns over there. Mm -hmm. We got some. Sorry, I'm eating already. <laughs> we got some Indian style bun things. I think they call them sweet buns. They're a bit mad, I've never had these before. They're very big. Quite good though. And yeah, lunch time. <laughs> so we're just getting ourselves finished up after a little picnic break. I'm getting more sun cream on, but I am actually changing into a t-shirt that covers over my shoulders. It is roasting today and the sun is so, so strong, so. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to put this on. Oh, much better. So this isn't our first time seeing tea plantations here in Asia. Last year, we traveled around Malaysia for six weeks and visited a place called the Cameron Highlands. And it is so similar to Minar, really high up climate, a little bit colder than everywhere else and filled with tea plantations. And it was so, so beautiful. We went for a hike there as well. So if you wanna check out that video, we'll link it up above. It was a great day out and it's so good to be back out in these like, kind of surroundings. After that lunch break, I'm a wee bit tired. <laughs> Trying to catch my breath. Which way do we go? Okay, we take this one. Let's go. I think we are out of like the, the full tea plantation part. 
and we are back on like the actual path again we're on the road now i think we've probably maybe an hour an hour and a half walk back to like the main road where we finish our hike yay <laughs> it's been a really good day the skies are still very clear so i think we're gonna make it back oh. without any rain hello fingers crossed anyway <laughs> <laughs> They're quite cute. We're getting so distracted by goats. Goats, 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 goats. Stop you kidding around, would you? Hey, that was better. <laughs> <laughs> Wedding shed. Tickets for the bus? I believe it's the bus stand. The bus stop? I've never seen a bus stand being referred to as the waiting shed. The waiting shed? Yeah. Wait here. Wait here. <laughs> I doubt there's a bus up here to be fair. No. I've... Maybe like a rickshaw stand or... Yeah. But that's where you wait. <laughs> what a few man. That is amazing. Hi, is that butterfly? Butterfly. Let me see. Oh. <laughs> bye bye butterfly. Bye bye. <laughs> you can offer a toot toot. Yes, he wanted to give us a lift, but I can literally see our end destination. The end of the loop is at the other side of that bridge, right over there. Oh, there's a light in the road. <laughs> We're very close. Right over there. That's it. <laughs> Woo! Come on. <laughs> I must say this hike has been absolutely gorgeous. The views have been amazing and I can see why it's like ranked really well on the app that we've used it through. And yeah, I definitely think it has to be one of the best independent hikes you can do here in Menor, surely. We're gonna go out hiking again tomorrow, but I don't know if it's gonna get much better in terms of views than this. This has been wicked. <laughs> I love them. Uh, the, mad wee tractors. The tractors are so, I don't know. Another one. <laughs> They're going some speed! Vroom, vroom. <laughs> They're so cool! They're really I cool, they're them. really cool! Sheepy windy! Windy! <laughs> nice though, it's cool on us at all! I know, need the breeze! Woo. Need it on my back more than anything though! <laughs> We're gonna have to move, there's cars coming and it's only wide enough for one car, no people. I don't want to get run over. <laughs> I'm moving, I'm moving. I see you coming, I see you. <laughs> All right, that is us finished up the hike now. And as you can probably tell, we're back on a pretty busy road behind us. It's taking, gonna take us about 2K, I think, maybe to get back to like the hotel accommodation area we're staying, which is close to the town where we're gonna head and explore now. But yeah, that was lovely. We had a really, great really time. Good. The hike took us around five hours and it was yeah. so, so enjoyable. So many birds and butterflies and the tea fields were amazing. Yeah, it just felt great getting back out and hiking again. It's been a while since we've done a bit of a hike. We enjoyed it so much. We really hope that you enjoyed this video and coming along with us as well. If you did, subscribe. We'd love it if you subscribed to the channel. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. And hopefully you'll join us again. See you later. See Bye. Ya.